time of year, everyone recalls the story of the meanest Christmas humbug, Meister Ebenezer Scrooge. Well, here I am at your service to tell you the way it really happened on that famous Christmas Eve. I am, of course, now a changed man, but it is true that I, Ebenezer Scrooge, was the tightest fisted, covetous, clutching old sinner, hard and sharp as flint, self-contained and as solitary as an oyster. I remember that Christmas Eve. It was, it was only three in the afternoon, but it was already dark and cold and very foggy. I sat in my counting room with the door open to keep an eye on my clerk, Bob Cratchit. You can't be too trusting, you know. Then the door opens and this cheery fellow appears. Merry Christmas, uncle, he says. Bah, humbug. Christmas a humbug, uncle? Surely you don't mean that. I do. Merry Christmas. What good has Christmas ever done me? And why are you so cheery? You're certainly poor enough. <laughs> and what reason do you have to be so dismal? You're certainly rich enough. Well, what else can I be when I live in such a world of fools? What's Christmas to you but a time of paying bills without any money? If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips would be boiled in his own pudding and buried at the stake with holly through his heart. Now, good afternoon, nephew. But, uncle, tomorrow is Christmas, he says. Come and dine with us. I said good afternoon. Now get out. I have work to do. You see, my favorite relaxation was to gather my money and count it. With my arms wrapped around my precious gold, I would breathe in the scent of money, relax my head upon my riches, and dream. It's mine. Mine. All mine. 